My name is Nelson. You may know me from my first game. Not long ago I received an invitation to a competition in which all participants have to prepare magic potions. Unfortunately, I was already late to make the necessary preparations. But my Uncle Sid had the saving idea. And so we set off on our journey. Where did we end up now? We are in Sky City, a cozy air spa. And what we are doing here? You have to get the recipe for a magic potion with which you can win the competition. The ingredients for it as well. But if that's all, somehow I have the feeling that's not everything. Hi there. It's good to see you again. What do I need to get for the recipe? How am I supposed to know that? You don't know what I need for the recipe? Well, you need the recipe first. As far as I know, the lord of this island has a magic recipe in his castle. He's having a big party today, by the way. Where's the catch? Well, he's undead and can't stand living people. Well, if that's all, that should be a piece of cake. How did Sid actually scrap together the money for the airship? I don't know. I'm not that far into his diary yet. Diary? Yes. You want to take a look inside? Actually, you shouldn't look into someone else's diary. It's your uncle. Okay, give it to me. Patience, Nelson. Not until I get through it. I'll be on my way. Good luck. Hi. Hello, sir. Why are you on the trip? I'm betting that you will not survive the journey, sir. How nice. Someone has to bury you, sir. Don't you have business elsewhere? Indeed. But I have taken leave. The dead won't complain. You don't happen to have any body parts with you? Normally I would. But I wanted to travel light this time. So no body parts? Unfortunately, no, sir. Damn. So you have to dig someone up yourself. And how I'm supposed to do that? I can lend you my shovel. You have a shovel with you? Of course, sir. After all, I have to bury you somehow. That makes sense. Here you go, sir. Well, I'll be on my way. And keep looking for danger, sir. Uncle Sid never travels without enough fuel. The belt has become too tight for Sid. Hello, Sid. Hey, how is my favorite nephew? Favorite nephew? How many nephews do you have? You are the only one. I see. Tell me, what do you actually name the airship? The Seagull Shit. The Seagull Shit? I bought the ship for cheaply because it was crept on by seagulls. The previous owner didn't want it anymore. I have to buy some ingredients. Yes, yeah, so? Do you still have some money left, Sid? Nah, nothing left. I have everything where it's uh, invested in the airship. Great. But when you go shopping, maybe you can bring me a telescope. I'm afraid mine slipped off the deck. I'll see what I can do. I have to get going. See you later, Nelson. An inkwell with a feather. Hands off, Nelson. Why? 
I still need the map. Hi there. It's good to see you again, Nelson. Do you know your way around? There's a store for magic items. I'll be on my way. Good luck. Unfortunately, I do not have a map in my possession. Of Why? I still need the map. That does not work. Nothing happens. That does not work. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. That does not work. Nothing happens. That does not work. That does not work. Uncle Sid never travels without enough fuel. Hello, Sid. Hey, how is my favorite nephew? I have to get go. See you later. That does not work. That does not work. Hey, you there! What's up? Parking here is not for free. Haven't you seen the parking meter? How much does parking cost? Three silver coins for one hour. Three silver coins? That's extortionate. This is also an exclusive health resort. Nipper! Mom? Nipper! Dinner is ready! Mom, you are not supposed to call me that when I have the armor on. We have talked about it. I am a person of respect. We are having fish sticks. Fish sticks? Awesome. I am coming, Mom. You got lucky. But don't do anything stupid. <laughs> fish sticks. Empty wine barrels. I guess you have to drink your way through life up here. This is the smallest mark. Hi. Hi there. Is this the marketplace? Indeed. I'm the only one still selling merchandise here. And why only you? Because no one else got a covered wagon on the mountain. And how did you manage to do that? I just inherited it. The covered wagon was here first. The town was built around it. I see.
I'll have a look around. Have fun. Locked. Oh, a circus is in town. They are long gone. Why doesn't anyone take it down? In five years, the circus will come again. That makes sense. They are definitely not clean. Mm, no. I don't need to cut. Good day. Hey there. Is this the public canteen? Nonsense. This is a private kitchen. That's interesting. If you want, you can look around here, but don't touch anything. Got it? Hey, don't worry. Who are you? I'm the cook here, you smarty pants. And indeed the personal cook of antique dealer Volduk. What are you cooking? Soup. The guy always wants soup. A special soup? He does not care. Currently, it is a herbal soup. I'll be on my way then. See ya. Who can eat that much soup? A knife could be useful. Nothing happens. Good day. Good day, sir. Would you like to buy some antiques? May I ask who you are? I'm Volduk, and I'm an antique dealer by profession. My name is Nelson. I'm by profession uh, a kind of cook. I see. What kind of antiques do you deal in? Classical furniture and historical books. You also buy goods? Yes, sure. If you find something interesting, I could take a look at it. Why do you use a monocle? Well, I have a visual defect in one eye. And what about the other eye? That is made of glass. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. I must be off. See you soon. Are these your relatives? Why, no. That's me in various states of mind. Oh, and which ones are they? So, on the left picture, I'm slightly upset, and on the right, very thoughtful. Why, of course? How did I miss that?